Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of War Machines. So, last time, we completed Semi-Final C, where a Rotator ended up being the last robot standing, so they claim the third Grand Final spot for this season. And tonight, we start Heat D. We have 12 more great robots who all are going to make their debut to this episode and look to provide that initial spark to show that they have what it takes to earn the next grand final spot and potentially win the whole thing. So we have a lot of excitement up for tonight, so let's go ahead and check out and find out who those 12 robots are that will be competing for that next grand final spot. And here they are. So to start off on the left side we have Beta with that very effective hammer making their debut to the BattleBots pack of War Machines. Then right down below we have newcomer or Doomba with that powerful undercutter and that oddly effective chainsaw. Then right down below, Robot to compete in BattleBots 2018, Double Dutch and those two horizontal spinners. Then right down below, we have Dragon Slayer making their War Machines debut and looking to provide that initial spark with that vertical spinner. Then right down below, one of the big veterans, the War Machine Season 1 Champion. We have Hydra and that powerful flipper. They have returned once again and are looking to reclaim that crown. Then down below, we have the debut of Orby Blade and that powerful horizontal spinner. Then on the right side there, to start off, we have Phoenix from BuggleBots making their War Machine's debut and that pretty powerful vertical spinner. Then right down below, another vertical spinner looking to their, make their debut and make that initial spark, we have Rampage. Then down below we have Scorpios, back for their third season, looking to make it a bit further than they have last season through that overhead spinner. Then down below we have that Grappler Robot Slammo. Then down below we have the debut of Wallbreaker and those hammers. And then last but not least, we have Zonian Dinosaur making their War Machines debut, coming from King of Bots, looking to provide that initial spark with that very unique design. So yeah, that's that. Those are the 12 robots who will be looking to compete for that fourth spot in the Grand Final. We have quite a few big names, quite a few big and scary spinners. So this is going to be fun. We have lots of robots who I imagine could claim that spot. So, we're going to start with the opening round, as we usually do. I think let's go ahead and start talking about our first match of the evening. So, our first matchup of the episode features the War Machine Season 1 Champion. We have Hydra with that powerful flipper. Their opponent will be Orby Blade, a rookie to War Machines, but looking to provide that initial spark with that horizontal spinner. So in this match, Hydra is almost certainly going to be coming out with that defensive plow configuration, something that's new for this season. So they'll be looking to test that out against one of up against a big horizontal spinner in BattleBots that's pretty well known in King of Bots as well. So what's Hydra going to need to do? They're going to need to try to keep Orby Blade in the air as much as possible and prevent that robot from doing damage to Hydra to potentially knock them out. As Orby Blade absolutely has the capability of taking them out with that spinner. So Orby's strategy, pretty much try to do as much damage as possible to Hydra before the clock runs out, unless if they can get the KO in. So definitely their strength is the, the ability to be able to do damage in this match. So Blade's going to be trying to do that as much as possible. So yeah, I'm excited for this match. This is a match I'd love to see in BattleBots in the future. So I think we should go ahead and get to this matchup and find out who's going to be the first team to claim a spot in the semifinal for this group. Time for this match to begin. Hydra coming out with that defensive plow configuration as expected. Orby got a little love tap of a shot in there, but Hydra deflecting those shots pretty well so far. Hydra looking to keep that front pointed at Orby as much as possible, and then use the flipper for the first time, and manages to send Orby off bounce, and another flip that sends him quite a few feet in the air. 
So now Orby, they do have a self-writing mechanism, so they are able to self-write, but it seems like it's not the most effective of, of the bunch. So right now, Orby off balance once again. Hydra taking advantage of that, keeping their distance, because they want to avoid taking as much damage, avoid as much damage as possible being taken by that horizontal spinner, because that spinner is no joke. Nice flip from Hydra, launching Orby into the corner. This is an excellent control, because now they got Orby pinned in the corner, and they're using that flipper time and time again. Another nice shot. And the other thing is, is that Orby is hitting the floor and the wall quite a bit with those horizontal with that horizontal spinner. So it is possible Hydra is also trying to go for that Orby manages to break itself on the arena. Because that's really Hydra's best option when it comes to doing damage in this match. So, so yeah, yeah. That plow is holding up very well to the punishment right now. It's taking quite a few shots That's from Orby's spinner. And Hydra has not slowed down one bit. However, we are seeing a little bit of smoke coming out from Hydra. But it's still just not slowing them down in this match. A little over a minute to go in this match. I'd say Hydra is pretty safely on top. Because we haven't seen... We've seen Orby land quite a few big hits. It's to the front of Hydra. But no significant damage has really been caused as of now. Oh. Hydra continuing to control the match with that flipper right there and continue to launch Orby. Big flip right there that really sends Orby off balance. What a match we are seeing from the former champion here. Just really taking it to a to this big spinner. So, yeah. Big hit right there. I do see a couple pieces off. I wonder if Orby has taken off a couple pieces of that plow. Oh, so... So Orby is gradually doing some damage, but I don't think it's enough point-wise to match what Hydra has done so far. Right. So, another couple of nice flips, taking Orby right back into the corner. They're just giving Orby a tour of the combat arena. So, yeah. A couple more pop-ups from that flipper er, right there. Another one right there. So, less than five seconds to go. It is looking like we are going to have a judge's decision to start the night out. Hydra last second flip, but what a dominant match from Hydra in my mind. Hydra knew they had to come out with that plow configuration to get as much extra armor as possible to protect themselves from that horizontal spinner and try to absorb all those blows, and it sure paid off. When Hydra was able to, Hydra was easily able to scoop up Orby Blade for the most part, and then was able to launch them into the air, showing impressive control of the match. And then, eventually, and then allowing Orby to try to damage itself via the floor and the walls of the arena. So, yeah. Great strategy from Hydra. They did take some damage here and there to that plow. But it definitely did not slow that robot down one bit here. Because they continued to just chase down Orby. Launch them into the air with that flipper. Knock them off balance. So, yeah. So let's go ahead and hear what the judges have to say. I don't think this is going to be too challenging of a decision, but you never know. So the judges' votes are in, and we have a unanimous decision. The winner is... Hydra! So yeah, I think that was a pretty easy decision. Probably one of the easier decisions we've had in this season so far. Hydra just had complete control of the match despite the shots here and there that Orby managed to get on the plow, maybe on the sides at the top of Hydra. Regardless, that was an excellent fight to start the season for Hydra, definitely proving that they are still a huge name in this sport and one to be watched out for. Hydra is one, now one step closer to the title, so let's go ahead and talk about our next match, which is between Double Dutch and Slambo, two fellow Battlebots contenders. So on, on the left side, we have Double Dutch, who makes their debut to the Field of War Machines. This is their first season, with those two powerful horizontal spinners. So Double Dutch will be looking to cause as much damage and as much havoc as possible. But with great power comes great responsibility, because Double Dutch is pretty well known, based on playing around with it in the past, of going off balance due to the power of those horizontal spinners. 
So that's going to be something to watch for when seeing that robot in action. Their opponent is Slammo, who is with a brand new version of that robot for this season of War Machines with that grappler. So they haven't had the best run in the past two seasons of War Machines. So they came in with a with a whole new design and a lot of upgrades to it. So Slammo is pretty well known, own with the, with a lot of push power, making it an excellent control bot as well as its abilities to grapple opponents and send them all to Suplex City. I guarantee they'll be looking to try to do that to Double Dutch because they're probably going to need to box rush that robot. Double Dutch is definitely very capable of doing damage and so Slammo is going to want to try to avoid that by preventing those horizontal spinners from getting up to full speed. Can they accomplish the task? This will definitely be a bit of a driving battle between both these robots. So, I think we should go ahead and get to this match and find out who will be the next robot to claim a spot in next episode's semi-final. Time for this match to begin! Double Dutch looking to get those spinners up to speed. Slamo getting in there right away, shoving those, shoving that lifter and those grabbing arms right in there. And they suplex Double Dutch! Double Dutch immediately going to Suplex City, and they get flipped once again by Slammo. So, good start to this match from Slammo, but already a huge piece taken off of one of those lifting arms. Arms right there. More pieces coming off. Double Dutch starting to do some damage. Nice lift right there from Slammo. Proving to be more powerful than even some of the flippers that we've seen so far. Another huge piece. One of those grabbing arms is off now. So Double Dutch really starting to do some damage with those horizontal spinners. But Slammo is not running away. They are fearless. One of those other grabbing arms now in shambles right now. I don't think Slammo is going to be sending Double Dutch to Suplex City anytime soon for the rest of the match. Or at least not very easily. Because those grabbing arms are destroyed. Nice flip right there. Sending Double Dutch backwards. Sending them off balance. So now that Slammo can't really grapple or suplex Double Dutch, their strategy will obviously be to continue box rush and continue to stay aggressive, control the match through the use of that lifter as, le as long as it lasts. Because I do see the lifter is pretty well destroyed as well. Oh. So yeah, they are, they are doing just that though. But they are still having to take quite a few impacts from those horizontal spinners. Those horizontal spinners and Double Dutch are deadly for sure because yeah a little over halfway through this match already and double dutch has done a lot of damage to slammo but slammo has controlled a majority of the match through the use of that lifter so i think this is still anybody's game i think it's going to come down to how this last minute goes for these two robots and i think that'll determine the winner of this match if this was to go to the judges because there is the possibility of both these robots getting a KO. So right now, another nice lift. Another nice lift. Jeez, despite all the damage Slammo has taken, that lifter still has a huge amount of power left in it. What a robot. Th what a robot this is in Slammo. Oh. This robot is just an absolute tank. Despite all the damage that Slammo has taken so far in this match, they just continue to feed that front into Double Dutch's horizontal spinners and continue to use that lifter as if it hasn't taken any damage at all. 15 seconds left to go in this match. A couple more pieces taken off of the front of Slammo. Double Dutch still doing a lot of damage. Less than 10 seconds to go in this match. It is looking like this match will also be going to the judges. And this is going to be a close fight for sure for the judges. So yeah, this one, definitely a huge battle between offense and defense in my mind. Because Slammo was absolutely controlling the first brunt of the match with that lifter and grappler. Suplexing Double Dutch multiple times in this match. But... Double Dutch eventually stacked up some damage, showing that those horizontal spinners are lethal weapons of theirs. They were able to take apart those grappling arms, take apart pieces of the front of that robot, the lifter as well as the front armor, 
showing that that robot absolutely has the ability to do damage. That didn't stop Slambo or slow them down. They continued to stay aggressive and control the brunt of the match with the lifter, meaning this is going to be a very close judges decision. Let's go ahead and hear what the judges have to say about this one. So the judges votes are in and we have a split decision. The winner is Slammo. So yeah, that I I got to say that was an incredible fight between those two robots. And I do not one bit envy the judges as that was a super close fight and surely a very difficult decision for them to call. Because we had Double Dutch doing a lot of damage with those horizontal spinners. But Slamo was doing an excellent job getting that lifter involved and using that to control the match and keep Double Dutch off balance. So great work on both robots ends. Slamo will be the one advancing to the semifinal. I imagine Double Dutch is going to have a really good shot at winning the redemption round match. When they get to it, we'll see, we'll see what happens when we get to that fight. But let's go ahead and start talking about our next match, which is between Dragon Slayer and Rampage. Two rookies, two rookie vertical spinners to the field of war machines, both robots coming from BattleBots. So we have two very similar designs. We have two robots with a with a pretty effective vertical spinner, but they both ha all have exposed wheels. I think the big difference between these two robots is Rampage obviously has is a four-wheel drive robot, while Dragon Slayer is a two-wheel drive robot. And then I think Dragon Slayer has a bit more reach with that vertical spinner. So, yeah. I imagine what's going to happen in this match is whoever w starts winning those first couple exchanges, as I bet these two robots are going to go head-on, or whoever starts plucking off wheels on their opponent first. I think whoever manages to accomplish those tasks are going to be the is going to be the one to come out on top in this match. So, yeah. Regardless, I'm very excited for this fight. I always love seeing a vert on vert battle, and that's sure enough what we got here. So, I think we should go ahead and get to this match. Time for this match to begin. Both robots meeting in the middle. It is Rampage who is winning the ground game between the two robots and landing some of those first early shots that I imagine are going to be critical to this match's outcome. So Dragon Slayer continues to test out the front, but getting scooped up by that front on Rampage and being knocked off balance. Good hit right there from Rampage. And now both bots going on the attack. Dragon Slayer trying to outmaneuver Rampage. Try to get to some of those sides, but Rampage gets underneath them again in this match. And gets a wheel right there! That is huge damage right there towards Dragon Slayer. Because now they have only one side of drive and not even a minute into this match. Now Rampage has them pinned right up against the rails once again. And, and yeah... Dragon Slayer needs to rebound from this, but that's going to be very hard with the fact that they only have one wheel left right now. So, so yeah, we're going to see how they rebound from that, but right now Rampage is continuing to scoop up Dragon Slayer, but Dragon Slayer isn't even moving right now. Is that going to be it? Now there's some signs of life right there, and Dragon Slayer finally gets a hit on Rampage. Rampage is upside down, trying to self-right, but you have a self-righting mechanism. But they are in a position right now where it is very difficult to be able to effectively use that self-writer. And now they finally write themselves. And now right back on the attack they go. Attacking the sides and the underside. Looks like that vertical spinner broke and they were control boarded. That is a knockout for Rampage. What a good showing from that vertical spinner. Managing to win lots of these very early weapon on weapon exchanges between between these two robots and very quickly getting to getting to the mobility of Dragon Slayer getting to some of those exposed wheels. Dragon Slayer struggled a lot to in, in that match and definitely will be looking to rebound on that in the redemption round. Because other than this one shot they managed to land, they they just had nothing to fight back with in this one. And that eventually led to their defeat and we'll hopefully and we'll see them again in the redemption round. 
good win by Rampage. Let's move on. So, coming up next, we have two more rookies to the field of War Machines. Two non-Valbots contenders. We have Phoenix from Bugglebots, who will be taking on Wallbreaker from King of Bots. So on the left side, we have Phoenix, with a pretty powerful vertical spinner and effective set of forks. But then of course, they do have those two exposed wheels, which is going to be something to keep an eye on for their opponents. So, uh, yeah, pretty effective design. Their opponent is Wallbreaker, who's a pretty unusual, pretty unique design, with a set of not one, but two hammers. Not something we really see too much in War Machines. Not to mention they have a pretty, not to mention they have a flamethrower as well that they'll surely be using in this match. So, so yeah, this unusual design could make this a pretty hard to fight design, but we'll see how well it holds up to the vertical spinner of Phoenix. I imagine these two robots are going to be trying to get as much weapon usage as they can into their opponents and try to do as much damage as possible and try to disable their opponent before the start before the bell hits zero so yeah i'm excited for this match these are two new designs to the field of war machines so let's find out how well they hold up here in competition so let's go ahead and get to this match Time for this match to begin. Wallbreaker, the aggressor between these two, lands a hit with those hammers right on that vertical spinner, but it backfires because Phoenix ended up landing a shot of their own onto the front of Wallbreaker. Another shot from those hammers. Looks like Phoenix is going right for that vertical spinner, right for that weapon drive. Looks like their strategy is going to be try to disable Phoenix's vertical spinner. But Phoenix now underneath laying some huge hits to the underside of of Wallbreaker. So now both robots slowly approaching the other. Pretty flames getting spit into the into the ro body of Phoenix as Wallbreaker lands another huge shot and now gets some airtime right, from that vertical spinner. What an effective vertical spinner this is from Phoenix. So now some more weapon on weapon action, but it's not working out so well for Wallbreaker. I see what they're going for, but so far it hasn't been causing the kind of the kind of damage we'd be hoping for. So it's a little havoc there. There and now continuing to go weapon on weapon. However, though those hammers have taken quite a bit of punishment from that vertical spinner. But look at that! Half of the vertical spinner has just been lost right there. But there is enough there to where it's still causing damage because we saw another. We saw one of those hammer heads just come off there. So while Phoenix's weapon, part of Phoenix's weapon, has been disabled. It's still very capable of doing some more damage. That front is really messed up on the front of Wallbreaker, as well as those hammers. But it may have paid off because they they have disabled part of Phoenix's vertical spinner, despite all the fire they had to walk through to get to that point. More weapon on weapon action, but Phoenix continuing to get underneath Wallbreaker. Those forks are very effective on that robot. One minute left to go in this match. It's been a pretty close match. We got Wallbreaker is on control board right now. Phoenix looking to finish the job here, get the job done, and they have knockout for Phoenix. So yeah, what a match we saw between these two robots. What a debut. I think Phoenix did. Phoenix had a great strategy coming in, as did Wallbreaker. But sadly, I think Wallbreaker's strategy backfired on them a little more than it helped coming into this one. Their strategy to fire those hammers right into that vertical spinner didn't exactly go to plan because it left that it left their hammers getting destroyed. While they did manage to disable part of the vertical spinner, it led to their it led to their hammers getting destroyed, their wedgelets getting destroyed, and their internals getting pun punctured and penetrated throughout the match so yeah what so yeah great fight from phoenix so they have a very effective vertical spinner they will move on we'll see wall break in the redemption round so anyway we now have a highlight match to show you which is between doomba and zani and dinosaur two rookies to war machines let's see how this match went for these two robots 
So coming into this match, Doomba looked to chew apart those wheels with the undercutter, while Zani and Dinosaur looked to just hit anywhere on Doomba time and time again, and it worked out very well for Zani and Dinosaur as they proved that they have a clear design advantage coming into this match and were able to use that very effectively as they just landed hit after hit time and time again causing as much possible to Doomba where they managed to win this one by a pretty decisive KO. So, so yeah, Zani and Dinosaur moved on to the semifinals. Doomba went to the redemption round. But we have one last match to talk about in the opening round before we get to the redemption round. And it is between two huge names in BattleBots where we have Beta, who is going to take on Scorpios. So Beta, while they are, while they, this isn't their first rodeo in War Machines. This is their first time in the BattleBots class of this thing, because they've been they they've been well known in the DSL mod class, as well as the fact that they were in the Robot Wars class in last season. So, so yeah, this is a new field for Beta. But that hammer is definitely no joke, as well as that front proving to be very effective. So, yeah, but dealing with vertical spinners has always been an issue with Beta, and we'll see if Scorpios can take advantage of that. So on the other side, we got Scorpios, where this is their third season in War Machines. Not the most powerful record, but absolutely this robot can deliver some pretty powerful punches with that overhead saw. So... Scorpios will be looking to get underneath Beta and just start digging into that front armor or that exposed top or the backside as much as possible with that spinner and try to deal out as much damage as possible before Beta can start doing some major damage with that hammer. So, so yeah. So I'm excited for this match. We've got two big names in BattleBots. Another match I would love to see in real life. So... I think we should go ahead and get to this match. Time for this match to begin. Beta with a huge charge right out of the gate. Did not expect Beta to be that quick when it came to going across and engaging with Scorpios. A couple misfires right there from that hammer of Beta. Now those two going to head on. Beta lands their first shot with that hammer. Another hit right to the frame of Beta. And another. Beta getting some shots and with that hammer. I already see some parts flying. I guess and those are probably going to be pieces of Scorpios' front armor configuration. And now Scorpios lands a hit of their own right into the wedge. And now Beta landing more shots here and there with that hammer. That hammer pretty powerful as we are seeing. Quite a few pieces already flying, including a pulley that I'm guessing are pieces of Scorpios. Beta doing a lot of damage already with that hammer, and we are only a minute into this match. So now Beta, a couple misfires. Scorpio's getting a little, little, little nibble with that shot, with that spinner. Beta trying to land a couple more shots. Huge weapon on weapon shot, and there went the weapon of Scorpios. Scorpios is now weaponless for the remainder of this match, and we still have half of this match left to go. So that hammer is clearly so powerful. But Scorpios flipped over. They are, they are having a harder time self-riding, though, based on what we saw. Probably due to the fact that the spinner has been destroyed, as well as part of that that arm to that robot and beta just all over i gotta say while that hammer has been incredibly effective that wedge has also been doing a lot of good for beta helping him be able to control the match with scorpios here be able to get that robot off balance and line scorpios up for a huge hit from that hammer another couple of shots there from beta a couple more pieces coming off of scorpios and a Big havoc right there. So, uh, yeah. Less than a minute to go in this match. Safe to say, Beta is on top. But what about Scorpios, though? Scorpios is upside down and they can't seem to right themselves. Looks like Beta is just hanging back right now. Beta approaching that broken spinner and hitting it with the hammer. I don't think they're going to be able to break it further than they already have. But regardless, they have won this match by knockout. What a debut for Beta in this one. 
it's like Scorpios had a reasonable idea going with it, the configuration that they would typically use for vertical spinners in this match with Beta in order to try to win the ground game against Beta, but it just did not help. The speed, the maneuverability, and the ground game of that wedge just really helped Beta out in this match, and then helped set Scorpios up for a powerful shot from the hammer, and we saw lots of parts flying in this one. So, yeah, Beta's hammer is clearly so, such a powerful weapon. They're able to take out Scorpios' weapon with that one, as well as destroy bits of the arm, and then all they had to do from there was flip Scorpios over where Scorpios wasn't going to be able to self right and that was it for Scorpios from there. Great win by Beta. What a debut from that robot. We'll see Scorpios in the redemption round, which actually happens to be in our first redemption round match of the night, which features Doomba, Scorpios, and Wallbreaker. So on the left side, we got Doomba, who had a bit of a design disadvantage in their untelevised loss to Zani and Dinosaur, and Scorpios, whom we just saw lose one to Beta. And on the right, we got Wallbreaker, who got outdriven and outcontrolled in their match with Phoenix. So all three of these robots have something to prove, prove that they have what it takes to be able to make it far in the tournament. And... Yeah, all three of these robots had a match that just did not go great for them, so they'll all be looking to rebound from it. So, this match will probably come down to who can rebound the best of the three of them and be able to put on a good showing that shows that they absolutely have what it takes to be able to stay in the competition and potentially win that grand final spot by the time we finish the semi-final episode in the next, in the next video. So... Yeah, regardless, I'm excited for this match because we got three very different designs and a couple really cool looking robots in this one. So I think this will be an exciting match. So I think we should go ahead and get to this Redemption Rumble and find out who will be claiming the seventh spot in next episode's semifinal. Let's go ahead and get to this match. Time for this match to begin. It was like wall breaker early charge taking themselves into the wall scorpio scooting up doomba and lands a hit to the front of that robot now wall breaker getting in on the action going after at it with scorpios both of them landed a few shots on each other looks like there is a piece on the floor i think it's part of wall breaker but i'm not certain it could be part of scorpios themselves so two flamethrowers in this one that's something i did not realize it makes this fight a little bit interesting and a bit more fun to watch Wallbreaker is smoking right now. Scorpios had landed a few shots due to that due to that spinner, but it, so, it sounds like it's already penetrated Wallbreaker. I wonder if Wallbreaker is still suffering damage from that bout with Phoenix. Oh, it's, and now we got a couple pieces off the tip, the chainsaw on Doomba. Well, Scorpios pinning Doomba, but Wallbreaker helps them out and takes a couple shots from the spinner to the backside themselves. Scorpios. Looking, determining who they should go after this one. And they take it out, Wallbreaker! Interesting maneuver from Scorpios is turning around and letting the spinner just crawl up the front of Wallbreaker. That was enough to penetrate and disable Wallbreaker. Scorpios turning all their attention towards Doomba. Knockdown! So yeah, that does it right there. What a dominant performance from Scorpios. Definitely rebounding quite a bit from that loss against Beta at this one. Shows that that spinner had quite a lot of power that they hadn't been able to show us yet. So, yeah, Scorpio's managing to take on both robots one at a time and managed to take out Wallbreaker, easy as that. Then it to where it was just down to them and Doomba. So they managed to pick apart Doomba piece by piece until they were able to puncture and get to the drive internals and managed to disable Doomba for the win. So now we have Redemption Rumble number two, which is between Double Dutch, Dragon Slayer, and Warby Blade. So, we, so on the left side, we got Double Dutch, those two horizontal spinners who lost in a very close judge's decision against Slambo. And then in the middle, we have Dragon Slayer, who was outdriven and got bodied by Rampage in their opening round match. And then on the right side, we got Orby Blade, who was outclassed by Hydra in their opening round match. 
So yeah, these are three other robots that really have something to prove as to whether they have what it takes to be able to claim a grand final spot. Because all three of these robots definitely have something to show and maybe we'll see some inner potential from one of these three robots. So yeah, this is another match I'm really excited to see because we got a couple very different designs and a couple very, and a couple bit unique designs of robots that I like in general. So I think this will be an exciting match between we got, th we got three big spinners going to the arena, so you know parts are going to be flying and robots are probably going to die. I don't know exactly if I... I think I'm probably predicting that this rumble is also going to end in a knockout based on the destruction that we know that those three robots are all capable of. So, yeah, I'm I can't wait to see all the chaos, so I think we should go ahead and get to the final fight of the episode. Time for this match to begin! All three robots slow out of the gate. A weapon on weapon shot between Blade and Double Dutch at the two horizontal spinners. Dragon Slayer hang back. Wonder if they're waiting for Blade or Double Dutch to take it take themselves out or something. Little love tap from all three robots there. Another weapon on weapon shot between Blade and, and Double Dutch. Dutch, Double Dutch seems to be going to Dragon Slayer. Dragon Slayer landing a hit on Blade, but it's inverted Dragon Slayer, though. Some more weapon on weapon action. And Dragon Slayer just lost a wheel. A little, a little turn and side shot there. And a huge hit from Blade. Two huge shots landed by a Blade in the past 20 seconds. And now Double Dutch stuck in the middle of two powerful spinners. Here's right now. Oh, Double Dutch seems to be holding up well. Uh, maybe not, actually, now that I think about it, because they're smoking right now. Some more weapon-on-weapon -weapon action. Double Dutch hang in there, able to land some big shots of their own. But they sure are really feeling the punishment of those other two spinners. So, yeah, some more weapon-on-weapon -weapon action, that time between Dragon Slayer and Blade. And, yeah, we're about halfway through this match. Huge weapon-on-weapon -weapon shot. And there goes the control board of Double Dutch. Double Dutch is now finished. So it is now between Orby Blade and Dragon Slayer. But it's going to be tricky for Dragon Slayer because they only have one wheel right now. After that wheel that was lost pretty early in the match. So the points really stacking up in Blade's favor. Getting that wheel on Dragon Slayer as well as KOing Double Dutch. That's huge point values for it to go in Blade's favor. I see a piece of double of Dragon Slayer's spinner has broken, and though in all the action, but they need to take advantage of Blade being inverted. They couldn't though, just because like they only have one wheel. Big hit from Blade right there that flipped Dragon Slayer, but Dragon Slayer was able to quickly self right that spinner and that happened. All right, well time for this match to presume after that little mishap that occurred another weapon on weapon shot that inverted in dragon slayer and now orby going back on the attack dragon slayer now has full drive but we'll see how all that helps them um, in this match because they still have a lot to they still have a lot of points they need to gain if they want to overtake blade and that sure ain't gonna help them right there a weapon on weapon shot has took out dragon slayer's spinner and are they even moving right now? Do they not have traction? Okay, there's some life in their drive. I have right there. There. Orby just continuing to stack the points up. Dragon Slayer probably is going to need a knockout in, in order to win this fight. Because Blade has just been stacking up the points throughout the entire match so far. Both in part one and part two of this showdown in this redemption rumble. So Blade's probably gonna Dragon Slayer's going to need to try to get Blade stuck somewhere or flip them over and keep and prevent them from self-writing somehow. But that's not going to be an easy task right there because Blade's just been all over Dragon Slayer so far in this match. That horizontal spinner re really getting, they're really getting some opportunities to show the power in that spinner in this Redemption Rumble. So halfway through this part right now, now, uh, Dragon Slayer's done a pretty good job controlling the match, but with all the points that Orby has picked up, both at the beginning of this match and throughout the last match, I gotta have them on top in this one. 
So, a little over a minute left to go. A couple more nice shots from Orby right there to the front of Dragon Slayers, trying to keep their front pointed at them where the, where they're most strong. But they just lost the wheel there. So now this is pretty much right back to where they were at in the last match. Down to one wheel of drive. Okay, well, Orby is still at full strength right now. So, some more shots to the front and the sides. They're trying to go for that other wheel to try to finish off Dragon Slayer completely. Then a couple more shots to the sides. And there goes the other wheel. That's going to do it for Dragon Slayer. Dragon Slayer cannot move thanks to the lack of traction. And Orby hanging back. I think they're looking for a countdown. There is now a countdown going on Dragon Slayer. I don't think there's anything Dragon Slayer can do. I think this spot is pretty well in, Orby, in Orby's spot. I think Orby's definitely going to get that last spot in the semifinal. However, they wanted to take Dragon Slayer into the corner right now. Not sure if that's worth it because they do risk sending this fight to the judges. Countdown on Dragon Slayer. Is Dra I don't know if that countdown is going to be able to beat the clock right there. Er, clock at zero, but... Oh, Dragon Slayer got counted out. Okay, so it looks like the countdown just barely managed to beat the clock and prevent this fight from going to the judges. But regardless, I think this was Orby's fight to win, even if this fight got sent to the judges. From the beginning of the first part of this match, we saw a lot of weapon-on-weapon -weapon action between these three robots, and it seemed to be benefiting Orby the most. They were able to get a wheel early on Dragon Slayer, managed to land several powerful shots that disabled, that disabled Double Dutch. Dragon Slayer did play a role in that, too, but it was Orby that got the kill shot between the two of them. However, though, then when it got down between those two, it was pretty much all Orby. Dragon Slayer did do an okay job controlling the match at times, but all the damage was done by that horizontal spinner on Orby, and that sure led them towards eventually getting the KO on Dragon Slayer, killing off their mobility, and officially winning this match by knockout and claiming their spot in the semifinal. So yeah, that'll do it for the opening round of Heat D as well as the Redemption round. We saw eight great robots manage to punch their ticket into the semifinal for this group, where those eight robots will fight it out next time for the fourth spot in this season's grand final. So anyway, right before right before we close out this episode, I think let's go ahead and check out the bracket and reveal the matches that we will see next time in the next in the next episode. And here they are. So yeah, on the top left side. Beta, definitely one of the favorites to win after that dominant win over Scorpios. They'll be taking on Orby Blade, whom we just saw win their Redemption Rumble. It looked pretty good doing it, so Beta's definitely got definitely got a major opponent on their head. Then right down below, we got Rampage and Slammo, two robots who looked quite good in their opening round match tonight. Then on the right side... We got Hydra and Scorpios, two big names in Battlebots. Hydra being a former War Machines champion, Scorpios having to come out of the Redemption Rumble, but also looked good doing it. So I imagine Hydra will also have a major challenger. Then right down below, we have two non-Battlebots contenders in Phoenix and Zani Dinosaur, two robots that should give us an entertaining show next time. So yeah, that's going to do it for this episode then. Feel free to comment down below whom you think is going to be claiming that grand final spot. Who you think is going to win three fights in the next episode in order to claim their spot in the grand final. I'd be very interested in hearing who you all have winning in the next episode. There should be a lot of fun on the way, and I'm looking forward to all of it. So, I'll thank you for watching this episode, and I will see you all next time.